Hi guys, so I am just here inside BU's Boston University's Aganis Arena, getting ready for this. It's just really incredible. And we'll be doing some interviews today, watch them backstage, and more to come later. A team of 100 people that travel together, work together, eat together, um, sleep in the same hotels together. Um, so of the 100 people that are on tour, 43 are artists. So everyone else is support staff. So myself from tour management, there's an artistic team. We have a head coach. Um, we travel with the catering team, a performance medicine person, like a physiotherapist. Um, anything you can think of that you need to um, nurture and maintain high performing athletes, you got them. Um, so Cirque du Soleil um, checked the step into the unknown with this show. It's the first show that they've done on ice. So we are about five years into that journey right now. We're the 42nd creation that Cirque du Soleil has created. So back in 2017, when we um, premiered in Louisiana, we were the first and only ice show for Cirque du Soleil. So we have a combination of skaters as well as acrobats. So what you're gonna see in about, hopefully the next five minutes is our hand to trap number. So it's like a hybrid of our skating and our trapeze. So we literally have everything that you know and love from a Cirque show. So the high energy acrobatics, the music, the costumes, but it's all on ice. Uh, so what separates us from other ice shows is the fact that we have acrobatics. So you're gonna see real flips, real tumbling um, from you know Olympic level gymnasts to people who have actually been in the circus their whole lives. Um, the best part about this show is the fact that we come from about 18 different countries on tour. So name a continent, there's a good chance that someone that you are sitting next to or someone that you just shared a meal with um, is from there or knows from and from there. Uh, so we are a big international family. Um, when you guys are walking through, I'm sure you saw those road cases, those big cases. So we travel with everything from our dishwashers to our washing machines to this giant wall here behind us. So it takes us about 12 hours to load everything in and get everything set up. We usually do that the day before premiere. Um, and then it takes us about three or four hours to tear everything down. Uh, and we have a crew of locals that will usually come and help us do that just because we are only 100 people. Um, we also travel with a bunch of different costumes. So once we see training and do our interviews, we'll go back to our wardrobe uh, and you'll see we travel with about 500 different pieces of costume. So each artist has three to four quick changes during the show. Uh, so we have 43 artists, that's about 120 costumes, but everything from, you know, the bloomers that they wear underneath their sp the spandex that they wear um, to like the shirts that they wear, the undershirts, everything that you need to be in the show we have and we travel with, which is really fun. Um, so Crystal is a story about a young girl who gets bullied for living in her own head and living in her own world. Uh, and one day she decides that she's kind of fed up and she runs away, stumbles upon a pond, and she actually falls through the ice. Uh, and in that journey is where she discovers that her imagination is her greatest strength. So she uh, meets a bunch of different characters. Uh, is everyone coming to see the show tomorrow? Yeah, okay, great. I don't want to spoil too much for you, but <laughs> she meets a bunch of different characters and uh, each character has their own act essentially. Uh, so everything from juggling to let's see our hand to trapeze artists to our actual trapeze. We have extreme skating, figure skating, you name it, we've got it. Um, yeah, I think that, that that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm just going through all my brain of everything that you would want to know. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And we'll also have um, Scott coming to do an interview. Um, Scott actually trained at the Skating Club of Boston. So he uh, has lived here for a little bit, which is nice. Uh, he can talk to you about his training. He's one of our figure skaters, solo figure skaters in the show. Um, we'll also have our artistic director, Rob Tanyan, who will be around at 2.30 um, to take any questions. That's cool. Thank you. Great. Okay. Could you say your name? Thank you. Could you say your name again and where you're from? Yes, Christina Chumpong, and I am from Canada. Okay. Yeah. Are you from Montreal by chance? I'm or? from Toronto. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. But we did train in Montreal for a while, so. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. Oh, thank you so much for the intro. That was thank so you. helpful. Oh, you're so welcome.